Hi everyone, welcome back to the Mode Report YouTube channel, your report on all things fashion and lifestyle. In today's video, we're going to be talking my most loved spring summer pieces, why I love them so much and why they work so hard for me in my own wardrobe. I love watching these kind of videos, especially when someone has a really similar style to me. I find it really interesting to go and watch what they find to be their most useful pieces, what they go back to time and time again because it's just good inspiration. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. I thought it'd be a really fun one to film today. I'm not going to be pulling out any vintage, really unique pieces. I think the oldest thing in my wardrobe is probably from 2018, 2019, because I had a real like fashion overhaul during the pandemic and my style had changed and I've just been building my wardrobe since then, basically. So the first thing I'm gonna show you is actually the oldest thing in my wardrobe, I think. And it's from probably 2018, 2019, not 100% sure, but it is a pair of trousers that I come back to every single spring summer. And it's this pair of kind of camely beigey colored utility trousers from Mango. And as you can see, it comes with this sort of utility style belt, which I don't actually wear with the trousers anymore, but I thought I'd just put it back on so you can see how they actually came once upon a time. I absolutely love these. They are such a great fit, which I think is hard to come by for anyone. You know, most people have trouble with sizing because it's hard to fit into just generic sizing. So when you find something that fits as well as those trousers do for me, I feel like they are a real gem and something that stays in your wardrobe for a very long time. And they are just the epitome of my style. They're really laid back, really casual. They kind of hit just at the ankle, which I think is probably not the most trendy thing right now. It's more kind of longer length styles that are in fashion, but I do love that they're cropped. They just feel really flattering and I love wearing them in a really casual, laid back way. I wear them just like a t-shirt, some sandals or trainers if the weather is no good and just a casual handbag and I love it. I always feel so put together, but just very me in that outfit. And they are looking a little bit worse for wear these days, I will admit. I've got a couple of like marks on them that just don't seem to come out, but I refuse to get rid of them because if you don't look too close, you can't see them. I keep trying to find a similar version, like I'll have a look now and then just because they are obviously getting a little bit worse for wear, but so far I haven't really found anything that matches up to them, so long live the mango trousers they will live to see another year. So this cardigan here from COS has been very much a go-to this spring summer. Again, we've just had such temperamental weather. You never know whether you're gonna go out and later on it'll be sunnier or warmer or it'll start raining and be cloudy and mild. It's just all over the place is the weather. And I feel like having a really practical, knit or a jumper, just something to throw on that doesn't feel too wintry is really gonna come in handy. And for me, this has been the perfect item. Obviously it's a lighter color, the stripes feel a little bit more seasonally appropriate. And just the fact that it's a cardigan as well and not a jumper is just so easy to throw on with like a little vest top or a t-shirt. It's so versatile and something that I have been going back to time and time again. Again, another piece that is really easy to dress up and down as well. It's quite a put together design with the high neckline. It's also a little bit cropped as well. I mean, you'll be able to see this better in the cutaways, but it's just a really lovely piece and just something I can see myself going back to even in the autumn and again next spring summer as well. Just really, really useful. So next is a dress from the Frankie shop, which I bought in the Christmas sales in 2022 from Netta Porter, I think. I've been eyeing it up all of that summer and then it went into the sale and I thought I'm buying that. And I just absolutely love it. So it is a maxi shirt dress and I just absolutely love the fit of this. It's such a relaxed, fit without kind of drowning me. It's really, really long as someone who is tall. That is 
very hard to come by. Falls at such a nice length and it has a bit of drama on the cuffs. They're quite chunky, which I really like. That's something I always look out for when I am shopping for clothes. I love that attention to detail, the more kind of elevated basics. So the fact that it has these chunky cuffs, I just absolutely love. It's perfect to wear on slightly cooler days, you know, pair it with trainers and, you know, layer underneath as well. And even on those hotter days, it's really nice and loose and airy. And it's just a one and done piece. It is so easy to feel really put together and look like you've made such an effort when all you've done is just thrown on a dress. And I get so many compliments when I wear this as well, which is really nice. And I think it's because it's a little bit different. I know it's just a striped maxi shirt dress, but the green color is just, it's a little bit more unique. I've not really seen many other people wear something like this. And you know, that isn't necessarily always something that I go for when I'm shopping. You know, most of my wardrobe is made up of things that everybody and everyone has, but occasionally it is nice to have just that one item that is a little bit more unique and special to you. So I absolutely love this and it is one of a couple of items that I have in this collection which I am keeping an eye out on secondhand websites to try and get a backup because I just, I, I don't want anything to happen to it. Also because I don't think they sell this anymore so that's kind of why I'm keeping an eye out for it. Um, but yeah, I'd be absolutely distraught if anything happened to this so I'm keeping an eye out. So this next piece is something you guys will be very familiar with on my channel and it is the and other stories wide leg jeans i made a whole video about finding the perfect wide leg jeans and if you needed any more validation that this was the right pair to choose here they are in my most worn items of spring summer they're just amazing i love them again an item that is just so flattering they fit me really well nice and long they're not too baggy they just have a lovely structure to them and they're just such good quality i think by now you'll probably realize that there is a theme in this video of all of my most worn items not necessarily being the most exciting although they are kind of they are exciting to me they are my favorite pieces but the reason that they are in this video is because they all fit me so well they are not necessarily the most expensive items like for example the mango trousers probably cost about 30 pounds at the time when i bought them they're just high street but because they fit so well they are items i always feel comfortable and confident in i always know they're going to look great with whatever i pair with them and that's the reason that i go back to them so often so it really does go to show that if you find those items that fit you really well and that you feel confident in they will stand the test of time and you will go back to them time and time again. That was a bit of a tangent. Back to the jeans. I mean, I've, I've kind of talked about how much I love these anyway. And if you've seen any of my previous videos, they feature a lot in them. But yeah, I just absolutely love them. They're such a great color for spring, summer. I think I'll still get a lot of wear out of these in autumn, winter as well. But they're so easy to take from day to night as well. I think the drama of a wide leg makes it slightly more dressy as well. Really easy to pair with heels and heel sandals and yeah, I just think they are so, so nice. And even though wide leg is a little bit of a trend at the moment, I do think that these are a really great capsule piece as well. I don't think they're gonna be going out of style anytime soon. So next is this navy sweatshirt from the brand Ray, which sadly is not really gonna be around for much longer. It's I think it's the in-house brand of Matches Fashion. And correct me if I'm wrong there, but Matches have gone into liquidation. So yeah, it means that Ray is no longer around. I think they have a few things left on their website, but the sweatshirt is not one of them. Anyway, that was another tangent, but basically I love this sweatshirt. It is completely perfect. It is everything you want out of a sweatshirt. It is such a great length and fit. It's not too oversized. It's not too baggy. You look, put together. You don't look like you're just kind of running around in loungewear. It genuinely looks pretty smart. And I love that it's navy as well. I just feel like it's a little bit different. Well, not different as such, but it's just a very chic and 
flattering color. It looks great with gold jewelry. And yeah, I just absolutely love this. The sleeves are nice and long, which is quite a big thing for me. Again, I think it just comes back to being tall. I try to keep this item for not the best, but I try not to lounge around the house in it because it is really comfy and cozy, but I want to keep it in good condition. And I have worn this a lot. I've had this for maybe just under a year and I've washed it a bunch of times, worn it so often, I wear it with jeans and trousers and sometimes leggings if I am going out on a weekend, for example, I wanna look a bit more casual and just, you know, running around in my loungewear, but also still put together. I will always go for this. So it's had a lot of love, a lot of washes, and it still looks just as good as it did when I bought it. Last on my list of clothing items is actually the top that I'm wearing. So this is an asymmetric kind of tank top from COS, which I got last year. And it's something that I will wear at any given opportunity. It is, in my opinion, the perfect elevated basic. I feel like I've got quite a casual and often quite a minimal style and when it comes to going out clothes, I, I don't have a lot of them because I don't really go out, but also because my style is quite casual. So when it comes to going out, I usually like to dress things up with accessories and jackets and things like that. But occasionally I will try to find those more dressy pieces that I can still wear quite casually and that fit with my own personal style. And I just feel like this top is the epitome of that. It has this beautiful asymmetric neckline, which I think is so flattering. I think it's lovely. You can actually wear it on either side as well. There we go. It has these little ruche details at the side and it's a beautiful material. It's lovely quality. Again, this is a piece that washes very well. I've worn this time and time again. I'll wear it really dressed up with a little slip skirt perhaps or some trousers and heels or really casually with some little turn up jeans and a shoulder bag. I just think it looks so great all the time. It just makes you feel really put together and elevated which I think is just exactly what I want and it's just one of those pieces that I think I'll have for a really long time. And it's actually the other piece that I was talking about along with the Frankie Shop dress that I'm trying to keep an eye out for a second hand version because I just don't want anything to happen to it. So occasionally I'm checking like Vinted and eBay and Depop just to see if I can get one to have as a backup. I've got a couple of accessories and shoes to end on. So first is a bag, which actually is quite new to my collection. I've, I've actually only had this for about a month or so, but I've just been wearing it at any given opportunity and it's filled a real gap in my wardrobe. So when it comes to bags, I've got a couple of everyday handbags that are just shoulder ones, a little bit bigger, pretty casual. And then for evening bags, I've got a couple of sort of top handle ones. And I felt like what I was missing was a crossbody bag that I can wear quite casually, but also quite dressed up as well. You know, if you were going for like a nice lunch or something and you don't really want to carry around just like a little top handle bag and a shoulder bag is a little too casual. That's the kind of in-between I was looking for. So I got this. So this is from m and of all places. Can't believe it. And it's, so you can actually wear this as like a little top handle bag if you wanted but it's just this kind of faux leather, really lovely quality little crossbody bag. Really minimal as well. I love the little bit of gold detailing here, but this has just been so nice to wear. Obviously with it being quite small, it's hands-free as well, which is a real treat because normally I just wear a shoulder bag and you have to kind of, you know, put it back on your shoulder every so often. It's a bit, it gets a bit annoying. So this is really nice being hands-free. And I think it just makes an outfit look and feel really pulled together. It's a really lovely quality bag, really comfortable to wear. And it actually fits a surprising amount in here as well. So I can usually get sort of keys, phone, wallet, a little bit of makeup, that sort of thing in there and you're good to go. And I can see this being a really good piece for autumn, winter as well. It's just a black handbag, so obviously it's gonna be very versatile, but I can just see myself getting a lot of wear out of this. And as I said, just filled a real gap in my wardrobe. So the next most worn thing in my spring summer wardrobe has to be my beloved Vasia trainers. 
I think I will forever buy Beja trainers. I don't really know how current and trendy, God, I'm really showing my age here. I don't know how trendy these trainers are anymore. Obviously the Adidas Sambas and Gazelles, those types of trainers are a little bit more trendy at the moment, but I still love them. I think they are the perfect minimalist trainer. They're so easy to take from day to night. I've worn these on multiple city breaks and days out. They're so comfortable, great for walking in. They're just, they're just great. And going back to city breaks, obviously when you are packing for a trip, you don't have the most amount of luggage, especially if you're just going for a few days. So I feel like the Beja trainers are the perfect footwear to take from day to night because you can just easily smarten them up. They're also really great to wear when the weather is really warm. So if you wanna wear your more delicate summery pieces like a little slip skirt or a little white or black dress or something, they just pair so seamlessly with items like that. They're just very, very versatile and I just absolutely love them. They are my go-to footwear for basically any occasion. Don't get me wrong, I would love to wear my sandals and heels a little bit more, but so far the weather hasn't really presented us with such an occasion, so train as it is. And lastly is a pair of sandals, and they are not exactly my most worn item as of right now, because I think they've had a grand total of five outings so far this year, and probably three of those were on holiday. But when it comes to summery footwear, these are my absolute go-to, and they are my ATP Atelier black leather flip-flops. And I actually bought these on eBay as brand new a few years ago. Funny story about these, actually. So I moved house in September 2022. And in between moving from my apartment to this house, we stayed at my mum and dad's for about a month. And I lost these sandals. I thought they were gone forever. Hunted high and low for them at my parents' house. I thought they had gone to the tip by accident or something. But then, last year, last July, I got a message from my mum with a picture of the sandals to say that she'd found them in a suitcase. So all's well that ends well. I was absolutely delighted. And um, yeah, so I've just, I've not taken them for granted since then. I've thoroughly enjoyed wearing them because they are just the perfect kind of minimal put together sandal. They go with so much, really easy to dress up. I love the slightly more angular shape of these. I feel like that makes them look really elevated, just a little bit different. They're really, really comfortable, such great quality as well. I've worn these a lot. And just something that I can throw on and I know that it will go with whatever I'm wearing. So that is all of my most worn spring summer pieces. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what are your most worn pieces. I feel like it's kind of difficult with the weather that we're having. It's Everything's a bit of in-between dressing, isn't it? So let me know what you are gravitating towards the most this season. I really wanted to do kind of a all-time favorites, all-time most worn pieces, but a lot of my autumn winter items I keep basically not in my wardrobe during the spring summer. Not because I have so much of it, but just it's just better for storage reasons. So I think if you guys want to see this and let me know, I will do an autumn winter version of this video as well in a few months. So yeah, let me know if you want to see that. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe as well because it really helps out my channel. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.